<coughs> hey guys, this is Eric from www.finalcutstudioschool.com and we're going to delve a little deeper into shape this time and I'm going to show you an example of some basic expressions on how expressions work. Now I'm not going to be able to explain a lot of this but I want to give you an example of how expressions work and why they're so powerful. So as you can see here I've added a just a regular old color wheel node and a move to D node. Now I'm going to go into my move to D parameters and open up my pan and I'm going to go into X pan and in my little box here I'm going to enter me an expression. I'm going to put sine which is sine wave times time and hit enter. Now first thing you'll notice is this little plus comes up which means you have an expression in there now and here it is. Now I'm not sure if you can tell this on YouTube but now that I've entered that expression in the X pan when I move my playhead, you can see the little jiggle. Now, I'm not sure if you do a whole lot of keyframing, but in order to keyframe this, it would take a lot of keyframes. Have it go jiggle back and forth like that without a pre-baked behavior if you're just doing it by manually keyframing it. This can save you a lot of trouble with that simple expression. Now, you know, we can just say time. And as you can see, all that's going to do is just slowly move over time. Over the course of, no matter how long I hold and scroll up through the frames, even if I go to frame a thousand, it will keep moving over time because that's all I've got in there is time. Now, I can also add some basic math functions to it. I can say time times four. Now, you can see it's doing the exact same movement, only times four a lot faster and I can step through the keyframes you see this has saved me from having to keyframe this it's actually wonderful really it, it increases flexibility so much now say you only wanted this to happen after say you only wanted it to start moving after frame 10 you wanted it to stay right where it's at and in frame 10 you wanted it to start moving well we would put time is less than a little less is less than symbol 10 meaning frame 10 question mark 0 now this little expression here put a 9 in there and I shouldn't have there now it won't do a thing as you can see I'm scrolling up frame five six seven eight nine I hit frame ten and it starts doing its thing you see so let's see what else can we do um, we can we can enter a noise expression by type of noise noise times time divided by five times fifty now you can see I've added some random noise. It's kind of just going random all over back and forth in the X-Pan. Now we're only fooling with the X-Pan. I can copy this, highlight it, hit Command-C, go to my Y-Pan, paste it, and hit Enter. Now I have the same expression in both X and Y. And when I scroll through, I'm going to get random noise up, down, and left to right. So now let's uh, let's reset all of our values here. Let's go back in to our pan, our X pan, and we'll start over. This time we'll use a sine wave. Let's say S I N times time mm, times two hundred, and then we'll add. 400. Whoops. Let's see, what have I done wrong here? Sign. I left up my parentheses. Like that. Now, as you can see, we have some massive movement going on. That's because it's got a sine wave. If I want to go in and look at my curve editor, I'll open up my curve editor here. 
and you can see my sine wave. And this is the expression. And as you can see, as I scrub through, up and down, up and down, back and forth, the little color wheel goes back and forth. When I put sine at the front, that means it's a sine wave. Now, if I put noise, it would make, say, let's see, let me go in here and type a noise expression. So we'll say noise time times 10. Let's see, we'll see what that does here. Let's, that gives us a little bit of randomness in the left to right X pan. Let's see what else we can do with that. Let's add some to that. We'll say put parentheses at the beginning. We'll have to put some parentheses at the beginning if we're going to extend this. Okay. Let's go back times 10 there. Let me think. We'll say times R and D, which is random. Time times 100. Oh, let's see what I've done wrong here. R and D times. Let's see noise times. Noise time. Aha. I didn't put my parentheses in like I should. There we go. Now, as you can see, we have some massive movement. Let me look at my look at it in my curve editor. Now you can see my random noise it's generated. And as I go through, it's just random noise in the X pan. Now as I said I can copy and paste this by Apple C by highlight and go to my Y pan, paste it. Now I want to change this number here, let's say two hundred. Hit enter. And we'll also show this sine wave. Now you can see both of them. I can turn them off by checking my little clock. And you can see we got random noise on X pan and Y pan. And there it is up there. It's going wacky, wacky whizmo on us. All kinds of random noise. So, uh, that's basically the basics of expressions. Um, I mean, you got your signs, you got your noise. Now we can look at it in our curve editor. And this is, you can see, it's just a steady incline. So basically, that's about it. Basic expressions. Like I said, there's cosine, there's noise, there's sine, there's time. Um, there's really there's all there's all kinds of stuff, and I'd like to be able to get into more expressions, but it's kind of really hard to explain the math behind it over screen capture on YouTube. I just wanted to give you the sine and the cosine and the times, and you've seen some of the expressions that I've in inputted. Full with it. Full with the numbers. Input some different numbers, input some different expressions. Um, we'll see what this one does. Let's try one more. Um, we'll say sine time. Let's see, let's back this out. We'll need to put some parentheses in there. Sine time. Times two hundred like that. We'll add four hundred to it. What do you think? Plus one hundred. Now look at our sine wave in this one. You can hardly see it all. Um, let me go back and show you what it's doing to our color wheel. Going really wild back and forth. It's such a huge cosine here that we're not going to be able to see it all. Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry for rambling on. That's the basics of expressions. Play with it. Fiddle with it. See what you can come up with. If you have any questions, I'll try to help you the best I can. And uh, This is eMeek77 for Final Cut Studio School. Sam, we'll see you next time.